What's up, good people? I wanted to get into a, um, a vision I had, which is, um, which is called Pray for USA. And this vision, this um, flash of an image that I saw, really, it was essentially as if it was a worldwide hashtag, like hashtag pray for USA. Because essentially, not only USA, but other countries, by the looks of it in the vision, have succumbed to something bad which is Agenda 2030, which is what the whole situation in 2020 had to do with. So what I really saw was that there's probably something coming within the next five years it doesn't have to be anything dramatic, but it is going to be like pretty crazy. And it's going to be almost like similar to what happened in 2020. And it's not just going to be USA, it's going to be worldwide. It's going to be global, like 2020. But for some reason, USA will um, suffer a lot more than other countries at first. Because USA, um, ever since 2014, ever since 2013, USA has um, legalized uh, certain types of marriages in the country. And ever since that year, you basically notice that um, people have gotten more broke. People have gotten more dumber. Everybody's relationships have gotten worse ever since um, we legalized uh, certain types of marriage. But it was essentially a curse that um, Obama drafted up. And it's not the first of its kind. It was essentially meant to blaspheme God in order to bring the judgments of God upon America. And that's why Obama, Obama did like to make himself appear like is the Antichrist, even though I'm not sure he is whatever it is like. Obama does try to make himself look demonic. And essentially the reason I'm bringing that up and talking about it is because Obama, when he legalized the certain types of marriages, not only that, but he, um, he sent a lot of missiles to a lot of people in the Middle East. He did a lot of crazy stuff, but um, this dude, he cursed like the entire world. Not only that, but he put the entire world in a whole bunch of debt. And essentially, Obama cursed the entire country of America when he legalized certain types of marriages. And that's important because this video is about Pray for USA. The reason that USA needs to be prayed for is because soon the wrath of God will fall upon the country. And it's already happening in certain places and in certain aspects. But I noticed with the food, it's being more and more 
poisonous, more and more hazardous and cancerous. That is, you know, just one sign of the judgments of God. The second thing I'm noticing is, you know, things are getting more expensive. Not only that, I also noticed that everything is um is basically like whack now. Like nothing is as good as it used to be, basically. But there's also um bigger signs. Like for example, the amount of witchcraft that is happening in America right now is absolutely insane. Because before 2020, people weren't really as open with the witchcraft. They weren't as open with the spirituality as they are now. But ever since 2020, when YouTube and Facebook and Google decided to start censoring Christians and quote-unquote conspiracy theorists, these pagans and these New Agers, these witches, they've been very comfortable exposing themselves now because now they know if we talk about it, our stuff's going to get deleted or demonetized or labeled as hate speech or censorship. So whenever these corporations started persecuting Christians, at least on the internet, you notice that these pagans and witches became a lot more comfortable doing their spells out in the open. So that's why I'm making this video. That's why it's titled Pray for USA. Because we can't let these demons, these interdimensional entities that people worship, or if people worship themselves inspired by the same entity that wanted to be God, or if you worship the universe, which is a creation of the Most High, or if you don't worship anything, and you have no, um, no knowledge of any higher beings, higher purpose, or you just don't care to worship them or acknowledge them like that. For some people, it's almost like a transaction. That's why um, there's a sacrifice system. Because lots of these people, they won't necessarily devote themselves to an entity, to a being, to an energy, but they're willing to devote or sacrifice something or someone to that energy or that entity. And this is why I rebuke this stuff in the name and in the blood of Yeshua. Because there have been lots of innocent people. There have been lots of children who have been sacrificed by family members, by parents. You know, there's been lots of abortions that have happened. And I don't think people necessarily understand what those types of actions are triggering, not only in the spiritual realm, not only in the astral realm, but in the cosmos where there's comets and asteroids and black holes. I don't think too many people necessarily understand that when the spirit of, let's say, one of these babies that have been aborted, when it goes up to the heavens, 
when it goes, you know, outside of Earth's atmosphere, and it goes into what we call the first heavens, which is the stars, the galaxies, the universe, it tends to interfere with that area, with the matter in space in that area. And when you continually send that energy up there, that negative energy, you are essentially not only triggering certain cosmic events to happen, but the black holes in outer space, you're making them bigger. And lots of the asteroids in outer space, such as Apophis, Apophis 2036, people don't realize that this asteroid gets faster and faster, not only because of CERN, but because of the energies humans are channeling. The energies we are summoning by doing witchcraft, they only make these objects in outer space accelerate. They don't slow them down. So I don't think people necessarily understand that. That's why when the Christians are persecuted, the stars are going to fall. That's why um, I'd rather not be here when it happens because, uh, because truth be told, I've seen it like, like, if I'm going to be honest with you, when those stars fall, it's going to be like trying to survive the flood of Noah. And the only reason we're going to be able to survive it really is because the technology. And that's only because we really have space technology. And humans have, um, well, they're preparing for it with underground bunkers. Scientists, you know, telling you they want to go to Mars that they want to leave Earth. Most people don't necessarily question why, though. They only see the fact that Elon Musk wants to go to Mars or that he wants to learn how to escape the planet, which is really what they're trying to do is escape the Earth, which they can't do.